Okay, and hello girl, this is Kyo Chun Jan, and today I'm talking about, um, yeah, I'm teaching English now, and Kyo Chun Jan English, and then yeah, Yonsei Education Engineering, and uh, today's topic is um, the Korean War. Um, yeah, it's, it's not just a possibility, it's already and uh, historically proved, yeah, no doubt. Um, and it was just... It was a shock, man, even, even for me, and the totally U.S. U.S. Air Force, and finally, they got one in the air, because uh, they sent them more fighters, much more fighters, fighters than U.S.S.R. But the game, but the game has been lost. So where are the main air base of U.S. Air Force during the Korean War? Uh, I didn't check. No, no. Well, Osan was one of them. Osan? Yeah. You know the Korean one? Yeah. There were many airfield. Yeah, yeah. They are yeah, yeah. at at the, at the time. You know, most of the fighters, you know, you can't uh, come come to North Korea area. You are from Japan. Of course, you know, it was too far. Mm, the, the range. Yeah. Yeah. The flight range is shorter. Yeah. So they use you know, usually. Uh, Korean. Yeah. Korean, yeah, Korean you know, military air base. Yeah, I, it's very simple. And um, now U.S. Air Force has a great technology. Just in a in a, in a week, you know, they can they can make an uh, uh, air air base, yeah, air road uh, to uh, was it, to support the flights and fighters. Okay, and the second one, seven thirty one. Seven thirty one. Yeah, it's not Baskin Robin thirty one. You know seven thirty one. Japanese uh, bio biochemical test. Yeah, yeah. Human body experimental yeah, troops. Yeah, 731. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And U.S. got uh, taken, the uh, U.S. took the day of technology mm -hmm. and then, oh, yeah, yeah, they dropped in a, a germ bomb, yeah, germ warfare against North Korea. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's possible. Yeah. Maybe I, I heard that also the German troops, they just, uh, uh, the medic, right. medical troops, mm. and they also tested virtual, yeah, they buy their vaccines, yeah, to, yeah, to the Korean civilians, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna say, um, yeah, here are many examples in the U.S. in the deep in the, uh, illegal warfare, like germ warfare, after they, uh, after they took in the technology from 731 troops and but most of the South Korean people never never and never knew that mm -hmm. yeah and also there are many fake news in uh, in South Korea against Japan yeah. I think that's a problem a uh, big problem that uh, the biggest obstacle between the cooperation yeah. uh, in South Korea and Japan. Uh, because I think uh, integration and alliance with Japan is very beneficial for Korea. Yeah. And as you also uh, open uh, that. I, I think uh, our just preconception based on the long information. Uh, yeah. So uh, so what I want to emphasize is uh, maybe there are many fake news in North Korea against the U.S. and uh, Japan and South Korea. It might be. It might be. Yeah. But how about South Korea? Yeah. How most of the news are correct and right in South Korea? Yeah. South Korean media also produces many false information. I'm gonna say it's not. That must be not. Yeah. 
So um, I think uh, uh, why uh, should we study English? Right. Yeah, to get the yeah. correct information. The yeah, correct and information. Various, various yeah. sources. And I think that's very important. Yeah, w if if you if you have uh, if you know uh, uh, if you have uh, many uh, linguistic abilities like uh, Japanese and uh, Chinese and uh, English. And yeah, English is the most important, of course, and there are many uh, news from um, many countries and you can get uh, English news. Yeah. So if you, if you know English, you can get more sources, many sources from many countries, math media. Yeah, 731, and yeah, Nika Saver. Yeah. Yeah, also, um, South Korea, uh, people believe um, South Korea is going well. Actual 